A quasi-star is a hypothetical type of extremely massive and luminous star that may have existed very early in the history of the universe. A quasi-star is so large that the current largest star Stevenson 2 to 18 is so smaller than a quasi-star. The key element to produce quasi-star is massive gas clouds with less metal polluted like early universe scenario. Quasi-stars form from collapsing gas clouds. In order for a region of a cloud to collapse, it must be sufficiently dense and sufficiently cool. If it's too dilute, there's not enough gravity, and if it's too hot, the energy of the individual atoms counteracts the collapse. Massive protostars can only be built in the early universe from light elements. If the gas cloud is polluted with heavier elements, then it can cool more readily and radiate away energy. This Once the black hole had formed at the core of the protostar, it would continue generating a large amount of radiant energy from the infill of additional stellar material. This energy would counteract the force of the gravity, creating an equilibrium similar to the one that supports modern fusion-based stars. The outer layers are massive enough to absorb the resulting burst of energy without being blown away then the result will be a quasi-star. Quasi-stars are giant balls of gas held together by gravity, with an energy source at the core. In a star, this energy comes from nuclear reactions, while in a quasi-star it comes from black holes. In energy production zone, the energy radiation occurs the accretion disk a core black hole which is filled with hot gas and materials that continuously rotate around it. Outer layers or photon sphere of quasi-stars are made from atoms of hydrogen and helium. Elements only. Massive protostars can only be built in the early universe from light elements. If the gas cloud is polluted with heavier elements, then it can cool more readily and radiate away energy. This cooling allows a large cloud to fragment into much smaller pieces, so that in the present day universe, the collapse of such a large cloud would not lead to one massive protostar. Quasi-stars are so giant, and the first generation of stars predicted would produce as much light as a small galaxy. Supermassive black holes in the center of every galaxy may be originated from when giant quasi-stars die. In core of quasi-stars black hole would have grown 1,000 to 10,000 solar masses in this intermediate black hole grown a supermassive black hole. Quasi-stars are predicted to have diameter of 10 billion kilometers and 7187 times size of Sun. With surface temperature higher than 10,000 Kelvin and lifespan of 7 million years. Quasi-stars also called black hole stars due to containing black hole in their core.